Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, you'll learn how to perform username awesome effectively. Many people use the same username across multiple platforms. For example, I often use Mrtunjai Singh or myself underscore immortal on my social media accounts. By knowing this, you can track down someone's Instagram, LinkedIn, and other accounts just by searching for their username on various websites. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on social media. I regularly share valuable tips on Instagram and LinkedIn, so make sure to check them out. If you're new to this channel, subscribe now. If you've watched my previous videos, you already know they provide high-quality, informative content. Now, let's get started. If we have someone's Instagram username, we can search for it across hundreds of websites to find where else they have used it. Once we locate their accounts, we can gather more information from their other profiles. Let's see how this works. In a previous video, I searched for a person's Google reviews. You can watch that video if you haven't already. Now, I'm going to conduct a username search, also known as username OSINT. We can see the person's username in the URL. I'll copy it into a notepad. From the available information, we know he's a DevOps engineer from Turkey and AWS certified. We also find some additional usernames. Jacob's DevOps, Samuel Dennis, and Ismail G. We'll copy all these usernames for further research. Now we can search for these usernames using Google, as demonstrated in my previous video, by using special search operators. However, one of my favorite tools is What's My Name? It allows you to search multiple usernames at once. I simply paste all usernames and start the search. I can even filter by category. For example, searching only on coding-related websites. But I prefer to see all results first and then narrow them down if needed. Now, the tool will show us where these usernames have been found. Some results might be false positives, so filtering by category is helpful. Sometimes, different people use the same username on different platforms. That's why it's crucial to cross-check the information, such as job title, location, and interests, to confirm whether the account belongs to the same person. For example, I found a Code Academy profile with the username Samuel ATI. He hasn't posted anything, but the account likely exists for learning purposes. We also found a chess.com account linked to the same username, showing a game played in 2016. By gathering all these accounts, I prefer to save them as a PDF file to review later. Another useful website for OSINT is Blackbird. Unlike What's My Name, Blackbird allows you to search only one username at a time, but it scans over 570 websites. After running the search, I can export the results as a PDF. This is useful if you want to add findings to an OSINT report. Now, let's talk about automating this process using command line tools. The first tool is Sherlock, which searches for usernames across more than 400 websites. You can install it on Kali Linux and run a search using a username. If you want to search for multiple usernames at once, you simply add them in the command. Sherlock will scan different platforms, but some results may be false positives, so you need to verify them manually. Another powerful tool is May Gray, which searches for usernames across more than 1,300 websites. It not only finds profiles, but also extracts additional details like profile pictures, post counts, and full names when available. For example, if it finds an ask.fm account, it may also retrieve the profile picture and posts associated with that username. Once I have gathered all the search results, I compare them with my previous findings and verify which accounts actually belong to the target individual. That's it for this video. If you found this information useful, like, comment, and subscribe. This helps YouTube recommend the video to others interested in OSINT. Follow me for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.